Deschutes, and I've been living in Seashelt since 1993. Been making art pretty much my whole life. First concept for this piece started in 1999 when uh, I came up with this idea, this piece by Georges Seurat, one of the most parodied paintings ever, a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jatte. I had this vision of creating the same thing with Seashelt characters. When it came around for the 30th anniversary of Seashelt, they put out an open call and I thought, this is the time for that, so I brought it back and made it work on this one. Right hand side of the piece was First Nations mostly. I knew it was very important that I needed to uh, approach the Seashelt Nation and ask them for permission and guidance if they granted me that permission. And I was very fortunate that they invited me with uh, the elders and some others in the culture department and gave me great guidance. One of the surprises I, I learned at that point was about the woolly dog. The woolly dog is a unique species, uh, now extinct, of uh, dog unique just to the Lower Salish Sea and uh, Lower Fraser. They use the wool to make their garments and blankets, and so you can see in that piece of painting where there's the spindle whorl and the loom and blankets and such. Also very important in that piece is man carving a stone figure. And this figure was found uh, not far from here in 1921 and uh, taken to the Vancouver Museum, was repatriated in 2010. It's two to 3,000 years old. And uh, there's quite a story behind it. I urge you to go find out more from the Nation's Museum. The rest, I just sort of look for characters. Some are actual people, some are not. They are uh, some quite historical past and present, such as uh, we have Minnie and Bergy Solberg, who uh, lived up the inlet and would come into Seashelt up until the early 2000s when they both passed away quite close to each other. Trappers and very colorful characters, always looking for a ride, and everyone ran into them at some point. When I reflect on creating this mural, uh, hopefully it uh, brings other people to appreciate that art and they might want to look into that kind of art more as well, including an appreciation for art, especially public art and uh, culture in our environment. So I'm hoping this uh, goes some way to do that and uh, does draw people in and make them curious.